Thanks very much, VCU in the next hour. Let's get into those headlines. An ANC MP of Skopa says it is premature to summon President Cyril Ramaphosa to appear before the Standing Committee on Public Accounts of Skopa to provide information on claims made by suspended MP Mervyn Dirks. Becky Khadebe has told Skopa that he agrees with Parliament's legal advisor that a summons should be the last resort to use if someone refuses to cooperate with the committee. Khadebe says Skopa should rather request the president to respond in writing. An audio recording of an ANC-NEC meeting in which Ramaphosa allegedly admitted that he was aware of state funds that were used for party political activities was leaked. The Tsekhofatso Pule murder trial will resume today at the High Court in Johannesburg. The court heard yesterday from convicted killer Muzi Malepane, who turned state witness against the alleged mastermind Ntutuko Shoba. Malepane spoke about plans they carried out to kill Pule. Well, the National Institute for Communicable Diseases says the coronavirus test positivity rate now stands at 8.8 percent. This after 3,197 people tested positive. The NICD says another 132 people have died from COVID-19 in the latest reporting period. The overall COVID death toll now stands at 94,397. Active cases stand at over 73,000 with our recovery rate now at 95 percent. All right, that's the end of our news headline.